Hey guys. Raspberry. Yo, Amelia, you're the first one. Hey, Becky. You're the first COVID. Yep. Yeah, you're second. You guys came so fast. I can't believe it. Yeah, and I saw you comment, Amelia, so I knew you were going to join in pretty soon. Peep, how's it going, my friend? Are you new to the channel? You're third, actually, bro. What are you saying the replies? It says you said something about couldn't I just said I'm going live right now. <clears throat> hey Zemo May Fourth person. Hey Zemo, Anthony. You guys want to subscribe to my channel? Road to 1000, guys. Road to 1000. Easter's today. Hey, happy Easter, everybody. Cheryl, what's up? If you peep, if you sub, you become a mod. Not really, but <clears throat> not in my state, city, country. <clears throat> hey, Hunter, subscribe to my channel, my man. Also, you replied my name wrong. I did? Oh, my bad. Sorry, Amelia. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was me. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Jad Hassan. What's this video about? This video about is about me talking about stuff, about anything, just interacting with you guys, trying to get to know you. That's what I'm trying to do. Nothing special. I spelled her name wrong. Well, not you, tells you. Oh, my bad. My bad, guys. My bad, Becky. I thought it was me. I'm playing Fortnite right now, so be happy. All right. Enjoy. Anthony, Jad Hudson, subscribe, sub, sub to Towsy.
He looks like Angry Bird. <laughs> Me? How am I Angry Bird? I don't even have feathers, man. He is a food buyer. y'all. Dang. There's a lot of vegetables. And fruits. You need water only. Watermelon? Water? And here the drinks. Hot fat, hot fat, his cheeks is, hot fat, his cheeks. Hello, my name is Jonathan Joestar. Nice to meet you. All you guys call, call me Jojo. Hey, Jonathan. You're a mod. Since when? Did I make you a mod? Hi, here's dessert. I'm Joseph Joestar. You need Jesus. Orange, change my PFP and name. Hey, King Suggy, how's it going, bro? Yo, how are you, King Suggy? Six AM for me. Damn, man, it's early morning. <laughs> Would you play Fortnite, man? Or some other game? I'm tired right now. I'm bored. What do you talk about? <laughs> You're always bored, Amelia. Hey Amelia, I want to know whereabouts are you in? Um, you're in America, right? You're from America, and you're from Colorado. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's too both. Well, Amelia, I'm about to head over to Miami. I have a girlfriend in Miami. I'll be moving. I'll be not moving there. I'll be taking a holiday in America, in Miami, for about a month. I'll be staying there. So. Yeah. It's gonna be a holiday. She's making me stay in her place. You will be playing in Miami. I will be still streaming in Miami. I don't know about playing games, bro. <laughs> I, st I won't have my PlayStation there. Oh, but I'll probably have a dance comp. Fair enough. You're a Muslim, aren't you? I'm not. I'm not, Zach Hunter. I'm not. 
Hence, that's why I have a girlfriend. Thanks, Mouse. I know, right? Congrats, 800 subs. I know, next next milestone is 1,000 subs. I'm greeting my giant stuffed Easter bunny right now. I'm bored because I'm laying in bed doing nothing. Nice to meet you, Mouse and Zach Hunter. Do you like insane clown posse? Yo, Mr. Wicked. Have you subscribed to my channel? Mr. Wicked, subscribe. Why? Why do you even come on my channel then? If you don't want to subscribe? You want just trolling? Hell no. Look at this guy. I think he's better than everybody. It's just free, man. There's no cost to the subscribe. To subscribe. Done. What should I name my Easter bunny? I'm going through YouTube lives. You come, you came up, and it cost me not getting the right recommendations. He has a beard. Call your bunny Wally. Yo, take care of yourself. Peace. Alright, man. You too. I thought you were going to subscribe, but it would be nice. Mr. Bunny Wally. Hey guys, has anyone played the Rise of the Ronin? Rise of the Ronin? It's on PlayStation 5. It's supposed to be a pretty good game. 
If I win, we'll lose 10 pounds. <laughs> Sub. Dude, what, do you, what is with you and my weight, bro? It's not like I'm morbidly obese and I need a wheelchair or some shit. Literally, what is wrong with my face? Just because I zoom in my face into the camera, it's fat. I don't have a PlayStation. Nobody does. Does anyone have a PlayStation? Does anyone have the PS5? Running, rise of the running. <laughs> bro, you got the riz. I don't have a PlayStation. Mr. Hammock broke. Well, not really an interesting thing. So I'm going to put it up down. So I don't know. Stuck if I can't fix it. Alia, yo, do you smoke? I don't smoke, Alia. Alia Gomez. Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird. Oh, not this motherfucker. Have you ever smoked? No, I have not smoked ever. Have you smoked, Alia? Do it perfect just the way you are. Just always remember that don't change yourself for other people. They're just other bullies or haters. I know, Amelia, it's just. I don't understand. I really don't understand what people do. They're like, they're, they're like ch criticizing me in the way I look when it's not even bad, bro. It's not like I'm morbidly obese or something. It's just trolls, man. They have nothing, nothing else to say and just to piss me off. And it is working. <clears throat> Alia, are you there? Alia Gomez. Selena Gomez. Hey, Mike. How's it going, man?
I'm pretty good, bro. Tall haters and bullies. There's this thing called scrolling. You just swipe your phone. And if you nothing nice, say don't comment. Just like I taught you, like, taught you just scroll. Yeah, I've seen before. I know I'm late answering that. I know it's, cr it's so crazy to do, but do it. Hey, Game Boy. Just so you guys know, I've actually already bought Rise of the Ronin. It's actually downloading as we, as we speak. It's a big download, 100 gigabytes. I've also played Stellar Blade. That is also a PS5 exclusive. And I can't wait for that game to come out. That's coming out at the end of next month. <coughs> By that time, hopefully... I reach 1k subscribers. What is the ride on the Ronin? It's Rise of the Ronin. It's a um, feudal Japan um, Japanese game. It's like a samurai Japanese game on the PS5 exclusive. Sarah, where's my partner Grime? Yeah, where's Sarah? I just bought it, so I haven't played it yet, but I will. It looks like a cool game. I don't know if you if you've if you've actually played um Ghost of Tsushima, then it's like that basically. It's like a um Japanese type game, samurai game. This guy, man, seriously. Pissing me off. Dang, that sucks. Uh, I'm dying. I'm starving, but it's the night before Easter, so I can't leave my room. Man, I should have Easter eggs. I should have bought Easter eggs today. Or last week. God damn it. My bad. I didn't even get Easter eggs for myself. I'm cutting down in chocolate, though. That's why. Ooh, Wendy's app is looking tasty right now. For real. For real, for real. Are you doing anything for Easter? I'm um, actually not. I don't have any plans for Easter. I'm just grinding on YouTube. That's my Easter. <laughs> Yo, Fox, how's it going, man? You know what? That's why I want to get the money, guys. That's why I want to get the money. I'm going to go for a holiday to Miami. See my girlfriend. Be happy for a month. 
and stay there, have some fun, do a whole lot of crazy shit, and come back, and come back to Australia. Miami, woohoo! I know, man. It's gonna be good. Okay, that's enough for one day. That's a lot of chocolate. Take some pics. Of course, man. I'll be streaming over there, too. It's not like I'm not going to stream. I'm, you better believe I'm going to stream. I'm going to take my laptop and everything with me. <laughs> so it's easy for me. Uh, not about y'all. Y'all, y'all. Y'all, y'all, it's easy for me right now, lol, it's 1.34 a.m. Damn, bro, where do you live, just Mike? U.S.? U.S.A.? I get hard time to scream at the end of my lungs. What? Temptation. It is 12.34, 35 for me, U.S. North Carolina. Oh yeah, just Mike. You're from North Carolina, that's what he said. You were in Miami before. North Carolina. 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 <laughs> Carolina. I miss Florida very bad. You do? Come back to Florida, man. Meet me, bro. Kansas is just fields, fields, and more fields with definition. Well, oh, that would be cool. It will be, man. Get to meet your YouTuber. My fan. Get to see my fan. What's with the chocolates, guys? Calm down. Because it was way cheaper and I don't... And I don't have family over here. Damn, man. That sucks. Okay, okay, enough. Enough with the chocolate! Either you give me chocolate or not. Easter eggs, baby. I need some. Oh, you do have family. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that. Damn you. F1. Kansas is also Limestone Hills. Among Limestone Hills. Good morning from Canada. Canada. Yo, Whiteout. How's it going, bro? Fox, Amelia, how's it going? How's it going? That one, did Alexa turn on? No. 
No, I can't time me out, Game Boy. I'm a lot. Doing good, buddy. You know, white out. Have you heard about Rise of Ronin? Rise of the Ronin? On PS5? Anybody that in the chat, eight people, nine people, please subscribe to my channel. I'm getting to the goal of 1,000 subs. That's my goal. We all reach there, guys, with your help and support. Hey, Lamel, yo. Sorry, man, you're messaging on Snapchat. I'm looking here as well. Come on, man. Message me from one place. It's a new PS5 game. It's a new PS5 game, yes. It just released out recently. So I didn't know you were streaming. Well, now you know. <laughs> yeah, because I went out. I went out. I went out of the app. It's just today. Lamel lives in the same country as me. Pretty much the same city. Happy Easter, or do you celebrate Easter? I celebrate Easter. Hi, Sylvania. All these diamonds, they cost. I got banned from YouTube. Slat, slat, slat. What is slat? Thank God I got the password.
were banned from YouTube due to unknown reasons. Are you going to do a stream for Easter? Isn't it Easter today? I, that's why I'm doing Easter. Quit smoking, silly faces. This is. Alright, I GG. Get some sleep, I. Alright, see you, Amelia. How many eggs could you find? Say you are my bugger. I J four eggs. I J. Cool, but did you know Liberty Mutual customizes, customizes your insurance so you only pay for what you need? Right, want a break from the ads? Watch this short I've video for 30 minutes of ad free music. 806. Yeah, I know, man. 806. Twenty minutes to go until I hit one hour and then I can do whatever I want. I need to hit one hour every time I stream. Or more. One hour or more. So Lamel, what are you doing? What are you up to? How's your family? Let's go back from restaurant. Oh damn. How's the restaurant? I'm fine. I'm a fine about a lot of money. I'm not a good day. I'm back to you.
What you know about rolling down in the deep? What the hell, Mr. Age? Pro's dozing off. I am dozing off. Not good, to be honest. I'm a bit tired. この末を生きる人物たちと紡いだ人間がその方に大きく影響します。ぜひ大丈夫だろう人で一人の。攻撃。いやガードアップしながら。敵の攻撃を成果で弾いて体勢を崩すことも可能です。敵の武器と相性のいい。幕末を生きる人物たちと紡いだ人間がこの語りに大きく影響します。ぜひライズオブザローニンで一人の。ガードアップしながら敵の攻撃を成果で弾いて体勢を崩すことも可能です。敵の武器と相性のいい。It's Legends mean he called me disgusting. This is why real time cutscenes are superior. <laughs> the baby in the box? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> What the <laughs> it's funny. 
Let me get rid of these, one of these. You need one of these? Have you got one of these? So I finally bought the Xbox Series X mini fridge and this thing looks awesome. Just to give you an idea of its size, here it is compared to a normal Xbox Series X. And it's pretty big. And it's even got an Xbox logo here which lights up, a green LED on the top and a couple of replica buttons and a disc slot on the front. Now because it is so big it means you can easily fit 12 cans inside or 8 cans and loads of healthy snacks for those late night gaming sessions. Temperature wise where this goes to 20 degrees Celsius below your room temperature so everything stays pretty chill. Then on the front there's even a working USB port so you can actually charge your controller while you eat. And then this is where it's going to be living in my setup from now on. So what do you think? So I finally bought the Xbox Series X mini fridge and this thing looks awesome. Oh. Just to give you an idea of its size, here it is compared to a normal Xbox Series X. And it's pretty big. And it's even got an Xbox logo here which lights up, a green LED on the top and a couple of replica buttons and a... Rise of the Ronin. I played the first few hours of PS5 exclusive Rise of the Ronin and here's what stood out to me. As someone who isn't a big Souls-like fan, Rise of the Ronin feels a lot more forgiving with three difficulty modes that you You going, Sylvania? See you, Lavelle. Thank you. Bye, Mike. Stay blessed. Bye-bye, Mike. See you, Mike can change at will as well as a lot more checkpoints throughout the game. It's an open world game that feels like Assassin's Creed meets Sekiro with lots of cool little side missions to do throughout the world. And this also helps if you get super frustrated at a specific enemy in the game. Super early on you get the glider as well as a horse which makes it a lot easier to get around the open world. The gameplay has different combat styles which need to be used strategically depending on your enemy. There's a bunch of weapons including katanas, spears, dual blades and also firearms and a grappling hook that both come in handy in taking down enemies from afar which also adds to the accessibility. Combat is extremely stamina based with an element called key and just like other Team Ninja games has a heavy reliance on countering or counter spark as it's called within the game which goes a long way to surviving and depleting your enemy's key. I'm keen to play more and so can you when it launches on March 22nd. Also did I mention it has cats that you can cuddle as well. Cats. I played the first few hours of PS5. Let's go cats baby. I want a cat. I want a cat. I want a kitten. <laughs> I have a moon my PP. I'm trying to call it was. It wants the drugs back. So I've been playing Rise of the Ronin for the last few days, and honestly, it's pretty disappointing, and I don't think it's worth $70. The game took me about 15 hours to beat, and throughout that time, it never really impressed me. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't very great as well. It was a pretty average game. The game's story was very generic and not that interesting. Its gameplay mechanics were copy and pasted from other games. 
and it really didn't do anything to stand out and be new and exciting. That's such a huge letdown, because for half of the price that you'd spend buying Rise of the Ronin, you can go buy Sekiro or Ghost of Tsushima and play way better samurai games that set the bar so high that Rise of the Ronin couldn't even dream of reaching it. I mean, I don't regret playing the game, but I expected so much more from it, especially for $70. Honestly, the game really is about a 5 out of 10 in my opinion, and you really are better off just going to play Sekiro or Ghost of Tsushima or even Naya. So I've been playing Rise Naya. of the Ronin for the last few... Alright, so this might sound crazy, but this is currently my favorite game of the year. I did not expect to like this game as much as I do. Rise of the Ronin is amazing. A huge shout out to PlayStation X, gave me this game pretty early, so it allows me to kind of prepare this video in advance, so much love to them. I had no idea this game was going to be an open world samurai game when I got into it, so that's why I'm so hyped. But anyways, any of y'all likes, drop one. Uh, skin colors. <laughs> Not there yet, though. We're chilling. Right now. <laughs> Something I have unlocked. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go to the toilet, guys. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. Tazi, stop, please. Yeah, we can play it soon. I need to go to the toilet.
All right, I'm back. The mail. I'm back, guys. I'm back. I just went to the toilet. Now I'm back. Back. Watching YouTube. You could attack with that? Oh my goodness. I was wrong about Rise of the Ronin. Pre-release, I wasn't convinced that Team Ninja's open world Samurai Kill was gonna be as good as we all wanted it to be. I thought it looked a little derivative, a little unpolished, and a little bit too clunky for its own good. And while the end result isn't perfect by any means, I am big enough to throw up my hands and say, look, I was wrong. This game rules. Sadly, it does take a little while to get going though. The opening tutorial levels actually give the bad impression that Team Ninja has just delivered another wall long or Neo, but with watered down combat as players are ushered through discrete levels and boss fights that harken back to the structure of the studio's other releases. After creating two custom characters, a samurai duo referred to as the Veiled Edge, the opening missions slowly introduce the core mechanics. And like I said, most of these won't be unfamiliar to long-time Team Ninja fans. You have your checkpoint bonfires, known here as Veiled Edge Banners, which allow you to bank XP and heal, but respawn all basic enemies. You have a selection of weapons and classes to choose from, you have tough enemies that require an understanding of their attack patterns and the smart use of your own stamina meter to beat, and you even have a parry mechanic, here called the Counter Spark System, that would be familiar to Warlong players. And it's not that any of this is bad, of course, it's just worth noting that it takes a couple of hours for Rise of the Ronin to play its true end, once the title card drops, once you lock in one of the playable characters, and once it gives you free reign to its open world. And what an open world that is. This is a big PS5 exclusive, and from a technical perspective, it appears to be nowhere near the level of even a PS4 exclusive like Ghost of Tsushima. And that's not entirely untrue either. Team Ninja is not a first party studio, and graphically, yeah, you wouldn't hold this up next to your Horizons or your God of Wars. But it is a nice evolution from previous Team Ninja titles and a good looking game in its own right. Now, I'm not and certainly never will be as talented as the people from Digital Foundry, but to my eye, I found the graphics mode and the ray tracing mode that the game launched with. A little bit too jittery, especially the ray tracing mode, but playing on performance for the majority of my time, that was stable and it was smooth and it was not even that much of a visual hit, again, to my eyes. But away from the technical side of things, it's often art direction that defines whether or not a game looks good, and the art direction for Rise of the Ronin, it hits the spot. Whether you're gazing out at the sunrise on a beachfront or scaling a mountain to look over the world below, Rise of the Ronin has a plenty of picturesque moments that encourage you to just stop and breathe it all in. From the detail on the outfits and weapons to the surprisingly extensive and expressive character customization options, there are so many areas where the game visually looks like the real deal. Yes, you will see a lot of repeated interiors and enemies, notice texture pop in, especially when you're using the glider, and the occasional skybox that's all in all a little bit ropey, but the criticism of this apparently looking like a PS3 game, that's just something I can't understand. The aesthetic is spot on, and while no, it's not technically the most impressive game on the platform, it's clear that the developers have prioritized the feel of gameplay over pouring money and resources into the presentation. And even then, the presentation looks pretty damn good. It's that core game feel that makes Rise of the Ronin shortcomings feel a little bit inconsequential. Though. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going? to anyone who has played a previous team. Please subscribe, but Nick. Here the focus is Yo, Nick. On player expression, Nicholas, subscribe to my channel. The studio has made it clear that they're attempting to garner a broader audience with this game, and that means while still cribbing from From Software-style Souls features, Rise of the Ronin is much closer to Star Wars Jedi Survivor than it is Lies of P. I mean, the introduction of difficulty levels in and of themselves completely changes the gaming experience. 
if you're here for a classic Team Ninja experience, you can come close, but if you are just nuts and chop off arms and heads on easy mode, well the game doesn't restrict that thrill. I personally played the majority of the game on the highest difficulty mode, and while there was still a lot of challenge in there, I must admit it doesn't come close to the punishing heights of something like Neo or even a Warlong. So if you're a hardcore Team Ninja fan and you're looking for another one of those experience, it's not quite on that level, but obviously intentionally so. Again, I don't think that's a bad thing here, and there were still plenty of bosses, especially in the late game, that beat my ass into the ground, but it is worth noting if you're coming in with those more hardcore expectations. Part of what makes the combat and the gameplay itself so enjoyable, though, is that there's so much more depth to Rise of the Ronin's mechanics than may initially appear. While the focus is on performing combos with square and deflecting enemy attacks with triangle to open, it means that that's this and clear it games RPG struck. If you're someone looking for the most cutting edge PS5 game on the market, you might find yourself wanting, because this is a game that undeniably lacks the technical shaping of modern AAA releases, relies on tried and tested formulas, gets I don't want to tell. Thanks, Nicholas. The on people, on people like that other than know. Did you sub Nicholas on people? Game Boy. down by repetition and has a story too ambitious for its own good and yet and yet and yet at the end of the day I still really loved it I still think it's an incredible game the strength of its world the absolutely incredible combat and the bevy of content in there I'd be happily playing through 60 hours of this thing trying to 100% complete it and I easily could have done under the 10 of 20. Hell, even as I've moved on to other games since putting this down, I'm still thinking about it, and I find myself booting up the game just for a hit of that combat and to run around a bit or ride around on my horse. Fucking flowers. Rise of the Ronin is not a perfect game, but it is a goddamn satisfying one, and it's done more than enough to ensure that I, at least, will be there day one for the sequel. I'll give you some DLC. I would love some DLC. Right, that has been our incredibly long review of Rise of the Ronin. We will be talking more about this game, no doubt, on the podcasts moving forward, and already have been. If you want to go and subscribe there, over on Spotify, Acast, Apple Music, or wherever the hell you get your podcasts, and hopefully we'll do some tips and tricks and more videos on this going forward. Let me know if you're looking forward to the game, if you've already played it, and you think it's great or bad, or if could have done something better. I'm really interested, because I've been in a real bubble with this one. Um... Until then, though, thanks for watching. See you later. Peepa. Yo, Peepa. The exit. Lamel, are you still there? Lamel? Trump or Biden. Yo, Steve. Oh, Lamel. Yo, hello, tells you, TT. You wanna play? You wanna get on PlayStation? Let me know, man. PlayStation. Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me now.
Yeah, I'm gonna ask my brother. Okay. Digital Foundry is proudly sponsored by MSI as we've ever tested with incredible to win an MSI MPG. is an open world samurai action RPG and perhaps developer Team Ninja's most ambitious project to date. Building on the same in-house technology that powered Wolong Fallen Dynasty and Stranger of Paradise, the pure focus on PlayStation 5 development as an exclusive makes it a more tantalizing effort than usual. Farewell multi-platform development and goodbye last-gen console support. Rise of the Ronin sets out to fine-tune the experience for PS5 as a single hardware target. To that end, fully open world streaming is incorporated into the engine this time, along with ray tracing features, notably ray traced reflections. And yet, even with these engine breakthroughs, Team Ninja has a huge challenge to undertake here. In following 2020's Ghost of Tsushima, Sucker Punch's own excellent open world samurai action game, the bar is set very high for visual quality. Even four years later, Ghost of Tsushima's beautifully rendered landscapes, its materials and effects still make it one of the best looking games on PS4 and PS5. Flash forward to Rise of the Ronin today then, just how does the technology fare by comparison? Secondly, with three modes to choose from, a performance mode, a graphics mode and a ray tracing mode, which is the best way to enjoy the game? And finally, does any one of these options make 60 frames per second at all viable? Let's find out. The good stuff first. Rise of the Ronin takes the winning Dark Souls blueprint for its combat, its targeting system and the camera, but puts a particular focus on counterattacks. Much like Wolong Fallen Dynasty, victory crucially depends on landing a precise counter with the triangle button. The more counters in a row you nail, the lower the opponent's stamina until they're left open to a finishing move. It's brilliantly executed. It's Fair enough. And rewards paying close attention to the rhythm of an opponent's strikes. The tight action, the huge worth of weapons, and the ability to switch characters and playstyles are Rise of the Ronin's best qualities. Zooming out, all of this combines with a broad open world design, recreating a mid 19th century Japan with a sprawling map. As a wandering Ronin, you take on quests, with the story branching out depending on which allegiance you pick. The quest structure is rather transparent here though, one that's more Assassin's Creed than Dark Souls in nature. And by that I mean, objective markers fill the map, often explicitly spelling out where to go next. And to bridge the gap between locations, horses, grappling hooks and gliders are offered up to help you get from A to B quickly. That's the setup. Rise of the Ronin's combat, the story, and the RPG elements all show Team Ninja working at its very best. But the new twist, the open world aspect, is perhaps less polished in its delivery, especially coming from a big open world game like Ghost of Tsushima on PS5. It seems the addition of world streaming across miles of terrain isn't always an elegant fit for the engine. On the plus side first, character models are often beautifully detailed, we get high quality shadows, adjusting with the changing time of day to give a convincing day-night cycle. Also, the linear missions, especially the tutorial, put some beautiful effects in view. The snow physics allow you to procedurally leave a trail on the ground, for example. We also get a great use of volumetric effects in interiors, like this smoke effect filling out the cabins of the black ship, or the haze surrounding the lanterns of Yokohama. It's lovely stuff. And lastly, using the ray tracing mode, specific areas use ray traced reflections. This pond ahead of the shrine is one rare spot where ray tracing is applied, 
while the game's other two modes resort to a screen space reflection technique instead. Sadly though, the ray tracing mode is very limited in where it applies the effect, and in fact, larger water bodies like rivers, oceans, and even varnished interior floors instead often resort to SSR just like the other modes. Which brings us to a few of the negatives. Firstly, asset pop-in is often quite visible, especially in busy city areas or while riding quickly on horseback. Regardless of which mode you pick, a lot of these elements draw your focus to the camera, whether it be foliage, shadow maps, lighting, or NPCs. In fairness, in confined spaces, Rise of the Ronin visuals do impress, and the technology here often capably realizes the team's art direction with beautifully lit materials. But on the open road, there are often these distractions, and again, no mode avoids it. Added to that, textures use a low-grade and isotropic filtering setting, which means surfaces appear blurred at the typical viewing angle. Every one of the game's three modes uses it, and it resembles a four times an isotropic filtering setting we'd see on a PC game. All of this gives Rise of the Ronin a distinctly last-gen appearance at times, as harsh as that sounds, which is compounded by issues in image quality and frame rate as well. Notably, on the performance and ray tracing modes, most open areas render at a native resolution of 1080p or under, creating a soft end result. And in using AMD's FSR2 technology to reconstruct the image to 4K, artifacts are often visible on swaying foliage. And lastly, as you might have noticed, there are issues with the frame rate. No mode on PS5 is able to perfectly lock at 60fps, though, as I'll get to, some modes get much closer to it than others. To the comparisons, and first up, let's pick through what each of Rise of the Ronin's graphics modes do. There are three modes to choose from for 60fps performance, graphics, and ray tracing. And up front, I'd highly recommend setting it to the performance mode to lock down the tightest frame rate. The reason being, to the naked eye, the benefits of the graphics and ray tracing modes Get you to 1000 subs. How? I'm just doing the same thing. The same I'm just grinding every day. And, um, streaming. That will get me to 1000. I'll continue the same thing I'm doing, and I'll get there eventually. Within a month, I should have 1,000 subs. Easily. Because I'm streaming every day. You didn't only have 100 subs in New Year. I know, man. I only had 100 subs in New Year. Only 100. And now look at me, man. <laughs> Barry, you have 300 subs? Really? Dude, congrats, man. That's impressive, bro. I know you had 300, dude. Holy shit. Two subs. Wow. This guy was at the very beginning. Who's this kid? Legend. Congrats, man. And it's crazy I finally did it. I made it to the hundreds. Yeah, you did. 300, man. 
You're doing way better than me, dude. Way quicker. And you got less videos than I do. That's good stuff, man. I'm actually happy for you, dude. 200 subs. That's huge. I never got 200. I never got 200 in like when I first started my YouTube channel. For years, I was stuck at like 50 or 80 subs. I had lower than 50 subs when I started watching your streams. Look at me now. I have to go have dinner. Fair enough, man. I know, man. Look at you now, bro. You're a legend. You're a legend, bro. I'll be back on next stream. No worries, man. Keep grinding, man. Keep doing what you do. Eventually, you have 1k subs. Tazi, ask my brother if we can play Brace in a little bit. Okay. Only got one sub because I just started. I'll be back on next week. Well, I'm gonna go anyway. I'm gonna go because I just wanna chill right now. I just want to lay down, actually. Lay down in my bed. I just started my channel. And I want to subscribe to you. Hey, Aramari, what's up? I had dinner. Got eight hundred subs. Thanks, man. I know, man. Eight hundred subs. It's a big achievement. Now I need. Now I need to jump to one thousand subs.
Cheers, bro. All right, guys, I'm going to go, all right? Have a good one. i see you in the next stream tomorrow or maybe tonight. Let's see what happens. All right, see you guys. See ya, man. See you there soon.